So we got three roster updates left in MLB The Show, and today we're going to do viewer suggested, and I'm going to add my own player at the end. So if you want your pick to be in the next roster update video, which will be coming out Saturday, make sure you hit that like button and red subscribe button and comment the person down below. Hit that red subscribe button so you will know whenever the video comes up, at what time and everything. So we're going to start off with Mike Soroka. Now, Mike Soroka, we're not going to use his previous numbers because he only pitched 25.2 innings, and that's not enough to judge a starting pitcher. So we're going to use only his 2019 numbers. So his hits per nine is a 7.86, Ks per nine a 7.02, walks per nine 2.06, home run per nine of .59. I see his home run per nine definitely going up, and his walks per nine going up as well. But I don't think they're both going to go up to the point where it's going to go ahead and push him to gold. I think... At the end of the day, unless he has a month of September where he is in flames, I think he's going to finish either at a 79 overall, and then for MLB The Show 20, he'll be a gold, or he will finish at the overall he is currently, and then start off as a high silver for MLB The Show 20, which you guys could then invest in and actually get him as a gold investment if he does go gold and it will be the show 20 but i'm giving you guys tips and advice for the future now and investments since this season is beginning to end or close to its end Gio Urshela is next up on the list now through your average left-handers hitting 283 slugging 465 right-handers hitting 301 slugging 467 in 2019 his numbers versus left-handers have improved to hitting 311 slugging 541. He's improved versus right-handers as well, hitting 340 slugging 561. I see his end game being gold, but in order for him to actually go gold, he needs to also have a good month of September. As after that hot month of August, he's beginning to cool off a little bit, so he's going to need to turn it around and at least, I would want to say, hit 285 to finish September off while slugging over 500 in total to actually go gold since his power numbers are the lowest attributes he has. Next up on the list, Juan Soto. Now, Juan Soto, three-year average is left-handers 297, slugging 509. This year versus left-handers, he's improved, hitting 309, slugging 525. Versus right-handers, 296, slugging 571. This is three-year average. This year, he's currently hitting 294, slugging 614. So two points lower in terms of average, but in terms of slugging, it's gone up greatly. To me, he deserves to go diamond. I just don't know exactly how they do it with bronze tier fielding and he's not the best defensive outfielder out there either so it's not like they can just go ahead and juice up his fielding and call him diamond they're gonna have to do it by upgrading his hitting attributes even more so i think they'll focus more on balancing out that power versus left and then maybe giving him a couple of more points to the contact versus left maybe a couple of more points to the power versus right too just to go ahead and push him to diamond but definitely a diamond deserving candidate if he is not diamond by the end of this season and is not a diamond by the start of I'm gonna be the show 20 definitely a card to invest in to go diamond 100% last but not least we got Victor Reyes three-year average versus left-handers hitting 277 slugging 337 this year versus left-handers he's hitting 326 slugging 391 so clearly he has improved versus right-handers three-year average is 261 slugging 358 this year is 311 slugging 444 so clearly another improvement there to me he's a common that's a little too low for him especially if he's hitting against both sides over 300 his slugging numbers aren't the best in the world but he definitely has what it takes in terms of stats to get an upgrade to his attributes to go bronze so low risk high reward investment in victor reyes anyways hope you all enjoyed the video if you did once again and want any of your players to be in the next roster update which will be on saturday make sure you guys leave it down in the comment section below make sure you also hit the like button and the subscribe button to be notified whenever i do upload a video you can also follow me on all social medias at blade miss there you can comment down players too it doesn't only have to be through youtube and as always i'll catch you all in the next one peace out